Hey everybody, what's going down? Birds outside of a window. 84 here. I see this yellow bird and it's outside of my window right now. It's kind of got some green coloration to it and he's just kind of climbing the branches or she, you never know. Picking berries. There was this red berry it just picked and then it just flew away. It didn't fly, fly away like out of the distance. It flew like straight out of view, like straight on. Like you can see it flying away. So that's cool, man. Uh, my grandma used to be into bird watching and stuff, and uh, she used to hate squirrels being on her feeders. And uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, about that. Um, this is Love Heine. Smile again. And I have this interesting case for it. Um, it is the first case of its kind that I know of for the Dreamcast, so it's just kind of like a thick DVD looking case. And uh, there's slots on the inside for two CDs, but I think it's complete because it, you know, it only comes with one, you know, GD-ROM. And uh, the cover of this, man, just looks kind of sexual to me. It's just three girls kind of piled up on each other. There's something to do with a turtle with the Love Heine series. Now, I'm going to be talking on end about Love Heine and, in essence, talking about nothing because I have the set here and i got to show photos, right? So, yeah, Love Heine. Got another weird set for you. I like collecting these little sets, like you already know. And we, um, I've been getting, you know, a lot of these out of the way, like, uh, Card Captor Sakura and uh, Quiz Oh My Goddess Sister Princess and um, maybe I can get some of this background noise going. Let me unmute this. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear that. <clears throat> I don't know if Love Heine is a, a an anime. It probably is. It's just something that's ridiculously Japanese. Now, I got so many photos that I can't really talk about anything in particular. You do know this is a box set. It kind of has the pictures of what's inside of the box set on the side of the box, which is kind of disappointing because I, I kind of like the mystery of not knowing what it is. Okay, I have the pleasure of looking at the intro. Um, yeah, some of the characters look hypersexualized. Like, some of them, I think, might be showing side boob and stuff. Um... I did mention before that um, VMU Tool CD, I think that's what it's called, VMU Tool C CD from Spewed or Spud, and uh, th there's this uh, theme where it was Love Hina theme, and I kind of hated that because it did it does look a little bit sexual, and I had to, you know, I gave a copy of that to my nephew, and I don't want him thinking I'm weird. But I mean, it's like the only, it's like the best tool to like unlock your VMU to get extra blocks and to um, swap files for uh, Fancy Star Online so you can make copies of that. Because for some reason you can't duplicate files just normally, so you have to do it through the VMU tool. And you can um, also edit the VMU image, so you can like, if you're like a really creative type, you can uh, use the VMU tool for that. You can buy reproduction copies of the VMU tool, but I think it only comes in slimline cases, so I think it's kind of stupid. I want, it'd be cool to have like a something that looks like a retail version, but you could just burn a copy and just use it like that. I mean, I've been using the same burnt copy for, of Game Shark. I have the same burnt copy of a just a Game Shark burnt copy that I've been using. Um, I also got yeah a copy of Dream Explorer and VMU backup CD right here. I think it's Dream Explorer is what it's called, right? Anyway, um, yeah, uh, how far along are we with the pictures? Um, now, I looked at a video online, and I, I forgot what the guy's name was. I think I thumbed up the video, so it's probably in my liked videos, but um, <clears throat> these sets never really go together like... In, in any kind of comprehensive or any kind of like common sense kind of way, it, it's always random stuff thrown in. 
Now, there is a pair of chopsticks, and you would think that that big old bowl would be a big old bowl for your chopsticks, right? But no, it's a sauna bowl thing. And, it, you know, that just, you know, it, it goes with that towel, and you might have already seen the, the towels bunched up. And um, I'm going to mute this because it's like whatever. It looks like, everything looks like Sailor Moon to me right here lately. But, um, yeah, like you got that little towel and you got a little spa set so you can just put water in there and just kind of like, I guess, soak your feet or uh, do, do a little manicure or pedicure in there or uh, take, take one of those um, hobo baths in, in it. You know, just wash your armpits, your, your you know, your, your downstairs and your... Uh, <laughs> you wash your face in the same water. Um, there's a little ceramic turtle character, which um, for some reason there's this uh, turtle figurine. Hey, I was talking about little mascots with these Japanese games and how there's Pikachu and I think it was... Um, was it Cardcaptor Sakura? Or um, I might be confusing it with one of the other ones, but it's um, this little yellow creature guy. So it's like... There's always these little yellow creatures, and like the turtle has yellow to him. He's just got a green shell. He's a yellow little creature. What's up with Japan with Pikachu and all these other yellow people? They're all about little yellow mascot things. And the Poyo Poyo, yeah. Like, I don't even know what that is. It's got like a jewel on its stomach or its forehead or something weird. There's a little lanyard and keychains. Now, um, you may or may not be familiar with the... Um, Sister Princess review I just did, but that was just a bunch of keychains. That was 12 keychains with a lanyard. But this one's just three keychains and a lanyard. And by lanyard, I mean just that strap with the key ring on it. So you can just like clasp on the little keychains. And what looks like a little napkin or some deal, a little um, table napkin thing, like a little cloth napkin thing with a a chick with a what looks like a turkey and she's like just serving stuff and she's just like scantily clad behind the behind the apron that she's wearing so it looks kind of sexualized but I don't understand why things have to be kind of like pseudo sexualized in Japan but I have this set anyway so yeah, you got a little ceramic turtle a little place napkin a little uh, placemat napkin thing a little lanyard keychain jammy little spa bucket jam, a little uh, towel with a some chick in a bikini, and some chopsticks. The chopsticks make sense if you combine it with the, um, the card captors Sakura set because they had a, uh, there was a plate. Am I confusing these sets? I think it was card captors Sakura with a plate and stuff like that. There were some um, clocks, like a bunch of these sets have clocks to them, and, you know, there, there's like an official dra uh, Dreamcast clock that you can get for like 50, 60, 70, 80 bucks or something like that, and um, I would like to have something like that for collector's reasons, just some sort of like promotional thing. Now, um, yeah, I got that little um, Japanese uh, Yakawa keychain. There's that bird again. He's cool. I'm just looking at a bird. Yeah, it might not be the same bird, but he's got, like, black on his, either his wings or his breast. I don't know if he's facing me or facing the other way. Yeah, oh, it's black on his wings. Kind of got a lime green color to him. I wonder if he's still on the search for berries or what. But the sun's out. I need to go out and get some more sun. I need to go to the bank and get some money out because um, I'm not going to be able to do videos here in a little bit. I'm just going to be, um, you know, working on something else. So, you know, I'm going to be preoccupied with my time, and plus I'm working, so I'm not able to upload. So I'm just going to just keep this on the back burner and kind of, like, try to record some footage tonight. I'm guessing I went ahead and showed you all of the photos. I was kind of intimidated taking the photos outside because it's just so many pictures. Uh, I had to take pictures of the manual, too, just because of, you know... Little anime characters smiling and just big old faces, big grinning faces. And uh, other than that, um, Love Hana 
Smile it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, love behind a smile again. Alright, hey, there's that turtle. <laughs> Just kind of pointing at what you need to do. Um, it looks like some email thing, I don't know. That looks like some email thing too, I don't know. Is that the main game? Kind of hard to tell. I'm just as confused as you are. This looks like that Yakawa game, that director Yakawa game I got. Treasure Seeker or whatever. There's always some poor blue pill guy that's just lucky to be around all these females, isn't he? Isn't he just so privileged and lucky to be around all of those hypergamous, blood-sucking leeches? Well, that's Clarissa. She's getting ready to explain it all. And uh, he's getting ready to mansplain it all. Only look at him blushing. He's, he's kind of uh, keeping himself from doing that. Otherwise, he would not be in the game if he was mansplaining, so of course he's just going to be some sort of Mr. Rogers looking guy. She needs to excuse herself because it's that time of the month Aunt Flo came to visit. Oh, this. Oh, bro, nah, you gotta, you gotta pick up on your game, bro. You gotta work on that. Gotta work on that. Don't don't be MGTOW. You gotta keep you gotta keep just wasting your life and your resources, man. You just... See, she's totally like on her period. Look at her right there, in the little cartoon version. She's like, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Nah, she's gonna self justify everything, right? Dear journal, Carissa was on the rag again. This is the second time this month. Wait a minute. I think Clarissa's pregnant. I don't know. Her name is probably not Clarissa. So this is what the game looks like. It's just a bunch of um, co-ed stuff going on, I guess. Is this volume up too high? Let me turn it down just a little bit. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Yeah. 
So I, I guess you're the guy, it's just, um, some fantasy simulator. Oh man, I wish I knew what they were saying. Is this the whole game? Is this what the game is all about? Cabot. I wonder what that means. I want like a realistic anime with like haggard looking, real life looking people, you know what I'm saying? People with, like, real issues and, like, social personality, like, you know, maladjusted individuals and just, um, people who don't look, like, totally upkept, like, preppy and stuff. I feel like in, uh, China, I saw this video from John Humanity, he was, um, talking about, it wasn't even listed by him, I think they turned his channel down, but, like, he was talking about China and how, like, incredibly narcissistic and like crazy China is compared to even in America it's like there's more open minded people in America like talking about truths and stuff in America like you know it's pretty bad here but like competition and stuff is really bad and there's like this like dualism double think where hey it's that same phone from Shenmue that's crazy it must be like a popular phone in uh, Japan um but yeah, John Humanity was he lives in China right now and he was talking about how like people kinda they think that their nations are better, like in China they think China is better than everything, but they totally absorb American propaganda and like movies and stuff. And you know, how can you hate like I don't know, it's like they, they think they're superior but they totally absorb Western culture. I don't get it. And he was also mentioning, I forgot what he was referring to, but he was talking about, like, micro-penis. Like, a bunch of, like, guys in um, locker rooms and stuff. They'll, they'll, like, they have, like, incredibly small members. And uh, I forgot what he was referencing to, but... I, I hit the X button looking at the stairs. I'm not sure what that's about. But I was just thinking about, like, you know, there's all this, like, girly crap and, like, lack of masculinity. And they must put, like, soy in the food or, like, soy in the water or something. And it's just that it's really kind of sad that they, you know, that they have that kind of problem, you know. I guess you have to talk to Vanessa. But, um, yeah, when it comes to, like driving a wedge between the genders and stuff, like doing something to create micro penis. That that doesn't help at all. That that creates a lot of um insecurity and uh self doubt and uh, like mental withdrawal I'm sure. Um I'm sure there's a lot of MGTOWs like that, probably, you know? And just think about it. It, it, it would really suck having to have nothing, you know, having to live like that, you know, I mean, but, I mean, you couldn't stay mad, you'd have to just, like, live your life, right, but, I wonder, man, it's like, how many effeminate guys are out there that have that affliction, but, it's like, not, why is it that our, like, genitalia is under attack, it's like, there's, um, circumcision, which doesn't help with, your mind at all like there's like no studies out there that's like published like there's there's stuff but there's not enough information it creates a lot of like post-traumatic stress disorder and stuff and then on on top of that some men are born with micro penis because like soy in the food and stuff so just sucks I don't I don't know what's going on here Okay, there's an arrow, so you're supposed to go upstairs, okay. Let's go upstairs. Okay. Well, I'm glad that there's an arrow, because I was really lost with what to do. 
I think you go up these, um, this ladder. Okay, you have to hit the X button, right? Maybe not. Is that like save button or something? I don't know what's going on. This is Love Highness Smile again. There's like some item, uh, some options. The turtle, man, it's just confusing me. I don't know what's up with that turtle. But I mean, yeah, there's already like a bunch of insecurity attached to male performance. And I was thinking about how females, they just, when they have sex, they don't do anything. And yet they're the ones that expect the most when all that they're they're celebrated for their physical form but they're not expected to you know exert energy they just lay there and um, I think that's very unfair that you know all the onus is on us to court females and to do this and that and this and that and then like females are liberated with uh, feminism and yet they don't. They still don't do anything. They double down on not doing anything. Um, they should be talking about issues um, that men have to face, and they just don't. They're crappy people, you know. They're not even people, you know, because people have like consciousness and like morals and ethics and um, accountability and stuff. There's children, man. They, they, and they just got the rule of the roost because uh, Big Daddy government lets it happen. So there's that. Uh, let's talk back to Vanessa because I'm sure you got to uh, talk. You have to resort to talking to some female um, in order for, to progress in the game because this is that kind of game. This is a feminist dream. This is like proto feminism before feminism was hitting its stride. Yeah, I don't know what the big deal is. Maybe this is just an awesome series in Japan, but I don't really get it. I heard some sort of noise. I, I don't know what that means. But Can I talk on that phone? I just want to... Oh, you can dial... You get to dial all the girls' numbers, huh? See, you're, you're, you're good to go, bro. You, you got the glasses, so they think you're smart, and you got the card again, and the dress shirt under it. They think that you're, like, a student somewhere or something. See, they're not going to think any different of you, bro. Yeah. Oh, is he going to dial a, a, a random number? Hope he doesn't dial Bertha. What is going on? That, that was embarrassing. I just dialed Bertha. Why are you dialing in Bertha when I'm standing right here? Like, nobody wants to just like talk right in the moment. It's always like, hey girl, what's going on? Let me get your number. It's not like, hey girl, what's going on? What are you about? Hey, can we talk for a second like right here? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if you like cute little girls, this might be a game for you. Um, there's language barrier. It seems like it's a little bit cooler than um, Card Captor Sakura or Sister Princess. You know, I feel like I did another one. I just forgot what it was. But um, yeah, this one seems a little bit more approachable. It's like um, it's cool. It just looks like something you could get into if it wasn't for the language barrier. But um. I gave one of the other ones a 3 out of 10 for just the game, because of, because of the language barrier, and I, I don't see myself playing it, and I'm kind of leaning on a 3. But, um... I don't know. Yeah, um... I guess I'll just be weird and give it a 3.1 out of 10. I mean, it might be worth checking a YouTube video, but you probably won't be able to play it if you're, like, an English-speaking person. So, yeah, 3.1 out of 10 for the game. The set itself is pretty cool. I think I gave um, some of the other sets a 6 or a 7 out of 10, so... Um, 
It's a cool little set. It just kind of has like random stuff thrown in. I'll give the set a 6.6. .6. Just to be f weird, I, I don't know. I don't know if I rated the other ones higher or lower, but it really doesn't matter. So, uh, 3.1 for the game, 6.6 .6 for the set. Do I recommend this game? No. I mean, yeah, it looks like it's got some, like, funny, kind of pseudo-sexual stuff, which kind of sucks, but... It keeps your attention, you know. Oh, she's ready to talk now. It's, uh, we're bringing it back to Clarissa. And, um, they're gonna watch some Clarissa explains it all on that little TV in there, and then they're gonna like eat popcorn and laugh till the night night ends, and then they're gonna have a little sleepover, and then they're gonna flirt and exchange little love letters. You know those little folded letters that you would do in high school. And then he would uh, feel comfortable enough to let her know intimate things about himself, but she will lose respect for him as a person because it's all about tit for tat. She wants superiority and she doesn't want an equal relationship. She just wants to uh, get dirt on him. See, see that, that's what just happened. He's embarrassed. He's like, man, I shouldn't have told her about that. Shouldn't have told her about intimate things about myself. I thought I could trust women. What am I doing in this house with a bunch of women? So yeah, we rated it what we rated it. Um, yeah, the set's pretty cool and everything. Uh, do I recommend? Not really. But if you gotta pick a um, Japanese import game to play, there's worse ones than this one. But that's not saying too terribly much. But I appreciate you guys watching Dreamcast 84 out. I don't know.